Hey, I wanted to put a video out real quick today. Um, I usually wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I have a full-time job. I work for Xbox like 12 hours, four days a week. Um, and then I want to do videos on my other days. But I'm just so frustrated about what I've seen all day long. Um, I mean, the market's tanking. It's 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 terrible. And, you know, I watch a lot of videos and stuff all day while I'm working. And there's all of these, you know, clickbaits and and people, I mean, I YouTubers that I do like to watch, you know, uh, the market's crashing. This is why. And I don't think anybody, I don't think they know. I don't think people know anything. I mean, they wake up and they see the market and then they look through news and present it like, yeah, this is happening, so that's why. But it's not. It's ridiculous, it's stupid, and it's pissed me off. Um, normally I would just be pissed off, but then I remembered, hey, I started a YouTube channel because of this. Um, and like I've said, I want to go over things uh, and projects on my channel that other people don't, that I think have value, that aren't being talked about. There's like two... That I wanted to do this week, um, which I will, but I need to rant about this. Um, everyone's talking about this uh, coin rail hack where they got forty million dollars, um, which I, I've never heard of coin rail. It's a small little, uh, it's a dinky exchange, which I don't got a lot of international viewers. Dinky means very small. I try to find it. On two or three different sites, it's not even listed. Um, but that's why they got a million dollars with a Tron, a bunch of Pundi X, most of it was Pundi X, um, and a couple others. But $40 million made us lose billions um, from the or hundred. The market cap went down to below $300 billion. Which it hasn't in forever. Um, Bitcoin lost over a grand in 24 hours. And all because of CoinRail being hacked for $40 million. This, this, is, this is the business news on Reuters. It's like one of the only places I still go to get news. Because all American news is just paid for. Um... So, I don't think that that is what it... I know that's not what it is. I know that all the other things people point out are what it is. And people, that they they don't know what the when things are positive. I mean, everything shot up and we had this huge amount of influx. and Everything went up. And it was great. And the only thing that really happened in the news was some Muslims, clerics, uh, considered Bitcoin halal. And it was okay to invest in it. So these same people said, oh, that's why, yeah, uh, that's why, you know, it went up so much. That's not it. That makes no sense. And this makes no sense. It makes no sense because, one, and I am, I do always look for a conspiracy. I do always look for the worst thing because I don't think people suck. I trust people. But when it comes to institutions, governments, and everything else, I think they're all out for themselves. And they don't care about anyone else. Um, about two weeks ago, a big exchange in Korea, Bithum, they got uh, seized, and the government went in there. They took their computers, they took their ledgers, they they took everything. It was the it was the end. It was a huge. It, that was real news. That's not FUD. That's news. There's a big difference. FUD, I think, is malicious, nefarious, and could be not 100% true. If there's negative things that someone's talking about, that's just news and it's something you should know. I tried to look up Bithum and, oh, it's number six. It's a real big exchange. But what happened to the market price when the government seized it, when it was a crooked exchange? It's terrible. The, our, our whole space has no credibility. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Nothing. Business as usual, up, down, up, down. And then this little 
little $40 million hack, this one exchange that they screwed up, doesn't have anything to do with the technology, doesn't have anything they messed up, and, and it tanks? That's that's that that's ludicrous. It doesn't make any sense. That that makes no sense whatsoever. It's literally like you go over to your friend's house and 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 there's there's a kid across the street sitting there, looks sad. Why does that kid look so sad? Oh, his dad just died. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I can understand why that kid would be sad. Go over there two weeks later, a month later. And the kid's laying on the ground, screaming and crying and freaking out. Why is that kid freaking out? Why is it, why is it crying? Oh, his third cousin he never met died. Oh, uh, that that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Some exchange that you've never heard of, that is nowhere near as important or as big as BitHum, gets hacked. Just a mistake, a screw up. Bad guys trying to take advantage of their weak security and the market drops to like these massive lows versus a big respected exchange getting invaded by the government because they're shady and have been scamming people and cooking the books. That does nothing, but the, yeah, it, it, it makes no sense. Um... Something that does, I mean, we all know that there's manipulation. There's been manipulation forever. Um, I've manipulated the market with my little bits of money. If I go on a little dinky exchange and I see a shit coin and I pump a few hundred dollars, a thousand dollars into it, it will go up 20%. And there's no other real purchases. And then I'll notice that the, you know, the, the trading volume on it is next to nothing. And I could, and I, I made it spike, just because of the. Uh, that's how the market is. That's what we're talking about. We need in, uh, institutional investors. We need that big money coming in. Everyone says it's the whales. You know, whales are con controlling the market. That, okay, we'll say that that's what it is. But that label of whales, we got to stop looking at it as a person, some guy, because that could be institutions. That could be. That could be, I mean, and not to to go full conspiracy, but these markets could be manipulated by banks when it comes to whales, institutions with money, who are crooked as hell and have been doing all of the crooked things in the financial industry for the past hundreds of years. It's the banks. So, nothing happened. South Korea... Little dinky exchange, nothing happened. Why do I think this is happening? Why do I think there's a crash? Because, because we all know that uh, the U.S. has launched real investigations into uh, into market manipulation specifically, and I think it's coming. I mean, regulations are coming. We all know that. But I think it's the end of the line for a lot of these whales and shady manipulation. Because um, they are serious. Now, do I trust the SEC? Do I trust the government? No. But I'm hoping to be surprised. I'm hoping they come out on the side of the regular investor and not to protect the whales. Um, it's not getting smaller. It's getting bigger. They're issuing subpoenas. They're they're work, we're working with different agencies. The Department of Justice is now working with them, along with the SEC and the CFTC. So it's getting bigger, and it is it's steamrolling. And one of the another thing, it's not just the U.S. Thailand, they're introducing regulations. Korea just announced that they're going to regulate uh, cryptocurrencies just like banks. Um. So it's all coming. The regulations are coming. Um, and just on the side note, BitThumb was cleared by everything by the government. There was nothing wrong. They did no wrongdoing whatsoever. So that should, I mean, honestly, there should have been a huge drop and a huge spike. But nothing happened because of this 
big deal news. <clears throat> and I don't know how long, I mean, maybe we do it different in America, but a, 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 an in-depth investigation takes months. And this was literally a week, a couple weeks, week, a couple weeks, and they're done. Um, so that's just my my two cents. Um, every, everything everyone's saying of why the the market's down is just that's it's just bullshit. It's not real. It's not the math doesn't add up. Um, if 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 a forty million dollar hack caused a twenty percent twenty five percent drop within twenty four hours, then bit them it would have been much worse. Um, any of the other hacks take your take your pick. Uh, you know, yo, uh, you know, there's a Mt. Gox sell-off two weeks ago, and that caused it to happen now. I mean, literally, it's just they look at where the market is, and then they look through the news and just pick a couple things and point fingers at it. That's not it. It is manipulation. There's no other explanation for it. It's manipulation. Um, and I think they know it's coming to an end. And I'm sure you've heard it. I've heard it before. This is the last time we're going to see these numbers. I think it is. It's one of the last times because they're not going to be able to get away with it anymore um, because of regulation coming, because some people are going to get arrested. Some things are going to get exposed, um, which is, you know, going to look bad at first, but it'll uh, it'll be it'll be good in the end. Um, <clears throat> There's also something today about uh, Wells Fargo's not going to allow uh, any crypto purchases with any of their accounts or, or cards. So it, it's obviously the industry is really starting to fight back. Um, again, all this is uh, not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, which you can get the I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice shirt. Sure. In my store, I'll put the the link down in the description. Um, and there's a code on my store for a 20% off everything. It's a I am Satoshi. If you just put that in at the end of the uh, order, um, but it, there's a I, I posted this me I made this meme, put it on Twitter, I put it on my store. It's a quote from Gandhi. It says that uh, first they ignore you. Then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. Um, if 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 the industry, if the financial industry, the IMF, the World Bank, if all of them are gonna come at us now, uh, you know, thinking that we're you know we're a burgeoning industry, the, a burgeoning space. True, um, but the mass adoption hasn't started yet. If they wait until the mass adoption starts and then those people get disenfranchised and back out, that would be much better. Because if they come to fight now, they're just going to fight people who who seriously believe in it. You know, they're going to fight a bunch of true believers and they're going to lose. Um, and once they lose, then we get mass adoption. Then it's completely over. That That's the nail in their coffin. Um but appreciate it if you throw some likes on the uh, the video. I really wasn't going to make one, and I probably went longer. I always go longer than I mean to. Um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, like I said, I'll put out another video or two this uh, when I'm off, uh, probably Thursday or Friday. If you need anything or you uh, want me to go over anything, uh, go ahead and, and hit me in the comments, and I'll get back with it with you. You guys take care.